Pokemon that's is just a modern day slave simulator. All right, that's all it is. <laughs> slave simulator 2017. <laughs> exactly. I would definitely play that, honestly. <laughs> Dear God. It's <laughs> just like <laughs> VR, just you getting whipped. Just <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, shit. I'm laughing way too hard at that, but it's just so ridiculous. Slave simulator. Slave simu- I feel like if somebody some people would pay that, for I that, need that my too. Royalties. Like, I need you my royalties. Shit up. You start right? the shit up, and it's like a sports game. It's like, Slave Simulator. <laughs> slave Simulator 2017. <laughs> N I G G E R. It's in right. the field. <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to CP Time. Are you guys ready for the show? Hello, everybody, and welcome back to CP Time. This is episode number 37 now, and wow. we actually will drop two in one year. All of 2016, we dropped one. <laughs> in 2017, <laughs> we moved up to a whopping two. So You're making big pr- uh, promises right there. I, I am, and uh, with even bigger stakes, we actually have our first guest, and that's uh, Luke James. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, uh, man, I don't even know how to start introducing because uh, he's a he's a YouTuber. Um, he does a lot of music reviews and they're really great. You should check him out on his channel. Thanks, man. Uh, I think the most important thing we should say is he's not the singer. Yeah, he's hashtag not the yeah, singer. It's not, it's not the singer. Yes, <laughs> we <laughs> we should totally yeah, put you on or, yeah. just for you the can some very be disappointed if people. you if you want him to be right, you right. <laughs> just put the name for the SEO. Uh, but we all know the truth. Um, <laughs> man, uh, the first time I heard of Luke was like, uh, years ago. Uh, I don't even remember what year, but, uh, they showed me the stop simping video years ago. Uh, uh who's, yeah, I don't remember. Was that Corbin who showed us that? Probably, but I, I remember as soon as I saw that, I followed this man on Twitter immediately, like, <laughs> Oh, right. <laughs> that video was such a landmark. Uh, that's an old time classic. Old right? time. Real old time, man. That's years ago. <clears throat> man. Um. So how how do you start like YouTube and like what started that off? I was just bored. Honestly, I think that's how a lot of YouTubers start. You just have some extra time on your hands. You have some ideas you want to share with the world. Pick up a camera. You start recording some things and then. Once in a while, something takes off, and that sort of inspires you to do more. So when I first started, I was just making joke videos like that about relationships and things going on around the world. And then I did a video where I was breaking down the worst and funniest lyrics on I Am Not a Human Being too, which anyone who's heard that shit just knows how brutal the lyrics on that are. Like Lil Wayne was just pulling everything out of his ass on that one. So I made a video just dissecting some of the funny lines and it took off at the time and got up to about 10,000 views or something like that which was quite a bit because my channel only had you know a couple hundred subscribers and um yeah people just started asking me to do music reviews i didn't even really know at the time that music reviews were a big thing on youtube i just sort of did that on a whim and that's how it all started Mm. Mm. and i I was really like uh i was really shocked because i was uh I was subscribed to your channel for like the longest and just seeing it grow like uh I, I'm actually not to be uh the fucking try hard nerd here, but I just looked it up and you're at like seventeen thousand subs and that's that's hella crazy. Cause right. I'm getting up there. It definitely has slowed down a little bit. I think the the music review game has definitely changed. You got a lot of reaction channels happening now. Mm-hmm. Uh those are oh. very popular. And um even I know when I had more time on my hands obviously since my channel started i'm married now i have two small kids and full-time jobs so that eats up most of my life but before all that i had so much time that as soon as an album dropped or a song dropped i mean you could get something done within a day or two 
And that was the key to really getting a lot of subscribers because people are looking it up right away. They're looking for the album. They're looking for the song. And instead, they're finding your shitty video <laughs> at the time. <laughs> so and that's how I built up a lot of subs and viewers. But uh, it's definitely gotten harder. There's more competition out there. Uh, a lot of great channels, you know, so... But it's fun. I, I'm still I'm still growing, and I think my quality has improved over time as well. Oh yeah, um, uh, a lot of YouTube stuff keeps happening. Speaking of which, like, uh, like you said, the music review game changes. It's, it's mostly because yeah. YouTube is like imploding on itself, and it's that's been going <laughs> on for like around a year. Like uh, ever since PewDiePie, uh, they took away his ads. And his uh, a lot of yeah. his sponsorships because he made uh, basically Nazi jokes and uh, mm-hmm. they 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 it's took them out. The place. Yeah, and, and ever since then, YouTube's like no more ads, no more this, no more that, and they're focused on like cleaner content and family especially, friendly, especially longer content. The longer uh, people watch your videos for. Like you could make a, a a four minute video that people will watch all four minutes of and be cool, but YouTube is more focused on like a twenty minute video that people only watch for ten minutes. Like they'd rather you, they rather build up that yeah. watch time. A lot of people have short attention spans too. I think. Oh yeah, when it I comes do. To YouTube. Oh, yeah. Like <laughs> even even amazing. I know I do. Like I'll click on something, and then I'll see on the side it'll be like. 69 boys tootsie roll i'm like oh shit i remember that song from the 90s then i click on that then it's like black street no diggity like four hours later i'm listening to fucking pump up the jam by technotronic you know what i mean right. you get caught in those youtube traps where it's just video after video after video and you know it's not often i make it through a whole one right true uh, i mean like or maybe that's just me i don't know maybe maybe i just nah. short attention span I know uh, everybody does. Yeah, I, I'm. Uh, I believe I am the youngest here, and my attention span is probably way shorter than everyone else's here. Because uh, <laughs> yeah. you just grow up off that, uh, off that. Uh, what's it called? Instant um, gratification. Gratification. Yeah. Yes. And yes. like, Absolutely. I want to watch a video and see it, like, and have all my satisfaction from it in the shortest amount of time. But at the same time, YouTube wants that watch time, so it, it's it's like a system that's fighting against itself, really. Yeah. And they're, they're very hit and miss with their rules, too. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, they'll be dinging people for copyright infringement here and there, but then you have right. other channels. Like, the, the ones, these are the ones I don't understand. Are the reaction channels where it's somebody sitting there, and they'll put a movie, like, in the bottom corner, and they're sitting there for, like, the length of a whole damn movie, just going... <laughs> oh, oh, Jafar! Yeah. Oh, I, you are evil. Good. <laughs> People and have like rubbed like elbows thing. with like YouTube to get away with some of that stuff. It's so weird because like uh, it's crazy. We I I've taken like uh, a song from one video and like used it and gotten like copyrighted for it. But I'm like I got it off YouTube, so how's that on YouTube? And they took mine down. It's it, uh, it's hit and miss. It's really I, bad. I I was it Life struck. is Strange where we kept getting like hit with like oh, crazy my, copyrights? Oh, yeah. God, video after and like video, bro. Jesus. Really? Yeah, because oh, yeah. yeah. the music in there and uh, Jazz also did some Final Fantasy streams and mm-hmm. they just kept going off the map because they would pick like random songs and I'm like, how? Like, <laughs> it, it's yeah. like a three hour video and the song plays for. 10 like, seconds 10 whole but seconds the whole video goes down and it's just like right. dude but they're very slippery with that because again you have some reaction channels where they're playing through like a whole album and of course they're they're playing it in segments or whatever right. but there's there's just a certain amount of time you gotta have a certain amount of seconds i don't know what it is that you're allowed to use but it's that you know, content id system is it's really, really broken, and they've never done anything to fix it at all. Um, no, I, I've, I've definitely, I haven't gotten any strikes, but I've gotten those content ID claims where it says, yeah. oh, a, a musical composition has been detected. And I don't play any music in my videos. It's just me talking my shit. I don't have any background music. I'm not uh, reacting to anything or anything like that, but I still get hit with them just because my title <laughs> will have the song in the name or 
the album in the name. Oh yeah, you can just it's claim, bullshit. and it, the claim is really overpowered because you can just claim anything, and like YouTube won't review mm-hmm. it. They'll just be like, "You have a claim on your stuff," and like if you if you dispute it. And that's the point YouTube will look at it and be like, all right, you really didn't. But that's still like a lot of lost revenue and a lot of lost everything, really. But Mostly that can time, backfire, man. too. That's that's the scary thing is oh, I yeah, had sure. one. I think it was on a Kendrick video or something. And it said I had a song. So I disputed it because there was clearly no song. And they responded back and just basically said, yes, there's a song in here. There's nothing you can do about it. And my only option was either to let it go or basically bring it up again and potentially get a strike for basically wasting their time. So the big companies, I mean, they have their hand in all of it, obviously. Oh, yeah. They can right. get away with shit. If they want to make some money off your video, they will. And, like, the the uh, at the end of disputing it over and over, the last resort is to, like, take it to court. And, like, even if you have a case in our, uh, like, well, in at least an American court system, because I know you're in Canada, but in the American mm. court system, uh, money rules all, like, even if you have a case, you oh, have yeah. to pay hundreds of thousands in fees and lawyer fees and uh, just, in general, everything to do with the court. So like, you can be right. 100% in the right and just can't take it to court because you don't have enough money. Yeah, you can't keep fighting. And the amount of time. Like, I'm not going to take time off my full-time job and away from my family just because they think I'm using the song that I'm not. You know what I mean? Right. 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 But, but it's too bad that the system works so dishonestly like that. But that's why I suggest to a lot of YouTubers just there's so many other ways that you can make money, whether you know there's Patreon, whether you're getting donations – merch or people are paying you to do work and do reports or whatever like that that's the best way to go about it then you don't have to worry about advertisers and all that bullshit right i think i see a lot of youtubers switching over to patreon and sponsorships Mm -hmm. like just especially like guys who do like gaming videos and things like that just because it's the easiest way or animation a lot of people doing animation do that too people get crazy tips running those video game streams. It's unbelievable because I was watching one before and I'm not making this shit up. The guy, he had a good looking girlfriend. She just came on the screen with everyone's like, hi boys. Ha 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 ha. And people just started donating. People were donating hundreds of dollars <laughs> at a time. I swear to God. So what you're saying is we need to get girls on the channel. Sounds right. like it. Hell yeah. <laughs> Sounds like, uh, this is your department jazz. Right. right. This is <laughs> how, <laughs> <laughs> you know how, bro. Make it happen, man. Daryl, just promise some broad dinner for like five minutes of screen oh, time. Man. Oh man, it would probably work. It would probably. <laughs> but work. don't call her a broad when you try to get her to do it. Right. Won't go over that well. Call her yeah. a female. <laughs> a female. <laughs> a female. Broad. Man. That just makes me think of like Dick Tracy comments. Right. Well, it's yeah, not it's such an old school baby. term too. Hey, let's go <laughs> get a couple of bras. Hey, you're gonna make this money on my stream. See? <laughs> Check out the stems on that dame. Man. Oh, what's cool? Oh man, but bring it back. But yeah, it's it's a shade. It's a shady game, man. That the YouTube game. It's a, it's a shady game. That's why people are going in droves to like Twitch and all that because. Uh, if yeah. if you do something There's like animation or like uh, even like cosplays, like people will watch you make your cosplays and donate whatever, and uh, you can play a game. You don't even have to be like good. Like uh, you don't have to like be like top five player, and people are just watching mm-hmm. for the skill. They they just want to see you having fun, and right. uh, it it's so weird how that just changes over and over. Because if you would have told me. Uh, like five years ago, people would be making their money just off live streaming a game and just like whatever they normally do, just with a camera on and make a living like that. Mm-hmm. That I, you, I would have been astounded. I would have laughed in your face. I would not have believed you at all. At all. That yeah. shit, shit changes. I still remember. I mean, I'm a bit older than you guys. I don't know how old you guys are, but I'm. I'll be 33 soon. But I remember back in junior high. So we're going back like. 17 18 years or whatever it was and one of my teachers said just wait soon they're going to have water in bottles because this is before bottled water oh man and they're going to have water in bottles for sale i'm like man ain't nobody going to buy water in a bottle that's the dumbest shit i've ever heard in my life i'm looking and at it now 
So oh, a bottle of water for like two dollars. I'm drinking one right now. Right, I literally oh, have a bottle of water right here. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> See, that's crazy. People pay for anything. People pay for dirt because they're planting flowers in their dirt in their backyard, but they want right. more dirt. Oh yeah, and like it's I don't know. It, it's mostly so much free money because you can donate, but like to watch a Twitch, people can get paid off their ad revenue, but you as a consumer just have to show up. It's it's very low mm-hmm. risk. Right. That's what I recommend to all the YouTubers and websites, man. If you can afford to get some merch up, get some donations, or just offer something, you know? If you do reviews, get paid for doing your reviews. If you do blogs, get paid to write your blogs for somebody. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. If you're right. offering a service, that's where the where the money's at. Because like, w- people, people will pay for everything. People will pay to watch a girl fart on a cupcake. They will. True. I mean, that is a thing. Yeah. Someone listening to this yeah. podcast mm-hmm. right now is like, "Oh shit, I forgot to check check in on Samantha's channel." Oh, right. oh she's firing on a birthday cake tonight. <laughs> oh god. <man. laughs> ah, there it is. But I'm telling you, people people pay for anything. Yeah, I'll say. Oh man. Um. <laughs> oh man, I'm just picturing some girl squatting over a birthday cake farting. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to eat cake now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just for some reason like I'm just imagining like a flamethrower coming from it like because like when, like oh, by science when chilies. you when you fart on fire it's gonna go out like like putting an air freshener on fire so and see I'm picturing like a candle going out like <laughs> <laughs> just a light breeze everyone's got their own little story going on right <laughs> oh man it makes the fire explode no you idiot it blows that. <laughs> <laughs> we need science. To, we need a peer-reviewed study to back up yeah, this cake real. farting incident. Hey, Some you know what? Business. Somebody probably has a Patreon for that. Probably fucking Lee or Fiverr. Is, do people still do Fiverr? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't think so. Fiverr. Fiverr caught some shit because of uh, PewDiePie. So, it might oh, for have, real? Uh, yeah. What happened oh, with yeah. that? Um, they were like saying that he like took advantage of like the. I don't know these like Indian dudes or whatever holding up a sign because of this whole anti-Semitic thing or whatever. So I caught some. Oh, flack that had to for do that. with Fiverr. Oh mm-hmm. man, yeah. Oh, I didn't know. That. I remember hearing that story, but I didn't know uh, Fiverr was involved. Yeah, he was like, he was like making a video to like prove the point that like they will literally do or put anything. And he was like, I wonder how like would they put this? And so he sent it in. They actually like held it up, but I don't think they understood like what they were writing down on the piece of paper when they were like yeah. held it up and were like dancing or whatever. So yeah, it got some shit for that. That's crazy. Yeah. Man. Doesn't take much to catch shit these days, man. Oh, look, no. look at all oh. those, all those poor players that got drafted and people are digging up their tweets. That that's um, a trend. I I hope does uh, some of those are pretty funny. I, I, uh, I'll, I'll laugh look. at like the funny ones, but I I can't like hold it against it, especially with like Dennis Smith said something like um, everybody has oh, God yeah. given gifts. Mine just happens to be slinging this wood in my pants. He said that <laughs> yeah. at like fourteen. Like I'm not gonna be like, hey, do you still believe like, this at age nineteen? Like he might, but yeah, that's that, none of my business. True. That's true. what I'm saying. E- even with more controversial stuff, I remember SZA. I don't know if you guys saw that. She caught some heat because she had some uh, homophobic tweets from years ago or whatever. Mm -hmm. But my thing is this. If you look into someone's past, whether it's on Twitter or Facebook or in their real life, if they're still that same person all these years later, then yeah, I mean, you can hold them accountable because they're still being an idiot. They haven't grown. But that person has changed and has shown that they've changed and they admit that they've changed and that's not who they are. I think we got to get over this culture of just holding that against them forever. True. Yeah, that's the line. I, between, I know like, if you look at my old tweets, it's over. Like, yeah, oh, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, it's done. Same. I got hella shit that I'm not proud of, but at the same time, uh, someone like someone like Trump, for example, because we got to talk about Trump. <laughs> someone like Trump, for example, uh, he clearly hasn't changed from like any statement he's made in the past like 20 years. Exactly. That's an example of somebody who you look at their past tweets, and today they probably go, "Yep, yeah, I said it. <laughs> yeah, I said it. I'll say it. Oh, I'll man, say I, it again I was, too." <laughs> I was wilding back when you know you you guys remember what Twitter was like six seven years ago. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Woo. Oh yeah. Oh, Shit man. was crazy. Nobody got offended really over anything. Twitter after not dark, as, not as it was over now. Oh, yeah. 
Like, like now you can hardly, you can't even joke about anything anymore. Right. Hardly. You're like yeah. one quote tweet away from having your fucking life ruined. Oh yeah, right. and losing your job and everything. <laughs> exactly. I don't feel bad for some people though. Maybe that makes me a hypocrite, but I don't feel bad for some. Oh yeah, some people. people, some people have it like, yeah. Oh my god, yeah. If you're an adult, if you're like 40 and you're dumb enough to go on your Facebook page with your face and your address and the, the phone number to your place of work, and you're going to say, "Hey, did you hear the one about niggers?" And then somebody, <laughs> and then somebody calls your work and says, "Hey, did you? You know what I mean?" Right. You, I, don't I don't feel, feel bad. bad for you. Yeah. <laughs> right. Like that's something and you that's did different. yesterday. That's not 20 years ago that you can change right. from. Hey, mm. uh, your employee, John Smith, uh, you check this one out. Hilarious, right? <laughs> like, yeah, you just, can't feel bad for him. No. Yeah, and I, I feel hypocritical at times about that type of shit because everybody has their, their hot topics. You know what I mean? Right. Some people don't – like, no group is monolithic. And, I mean, that's the same thing with black people. You know, everybody has different views on the N-word and when it's funny and who can say it and blah, 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 You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Right. True. But that's like every topic for everybody, you know. Not everybody feels the same way about everything. But I feel like on social media sometimes people act like every if you're part of a group, you gotta be in that group. You know what I mean? Oh right. yeah. I don't know. I see that shit all the time. Like I feel like it's very. Uh, th- this might get me fucking pitchforks and torches in my mentions, but I feel like it's very prevalent for a lot of black people that like. We're a monolith, but we're not. Like, you'll see something where, like, oh, we're not a monolith. We all think differently, all have different views. And then you'll have the next person say, oh, you're not black if you didn't do X, Y, or Z, or if you didn't grow up with mm-hmm. X, Y, or Z. True. It, it's, you see that a lot, especially myself. I mean, I'm mixed race. Both my parents are black, but then my dad's part Indian and my mom's part white. So, like, I'm all mixed up, but there's more black in me than anything, I would say. But I'm very mm-hmm. light skinned, so. Even in my time of doing reviews and shit, like just the amount of colorism you could say that I face, and this is this isn't me saying as a sob story. I'm not being like, oh, so brutal. I'm just saying, you know, I've experienced a lot of that. Like, oh, you you ain't even black enough to review hip hop and just dumb shit like that. Or you're Canadian. What do you know about hip hop? And <laughs> that's so yeah, dumb. man. You should only be listening to uh, snow. You know, yeah, <laughs> no, actual snow, not the rapper snow. Actual <laughs> snow. <laughs> This shit is fire. Get and it melted. Yeah. That shit cold, right. bro. <laughs> that shit cold as hell, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. man. Uh, no, I just I just find it interesting how that works, man. You know? It, it, people really pick and choose. People will act like they're all about equality and shit, but then the next minute it's... Oh, no. It's not, only when it's not so much. convenient for them. Right. right. Mm. I feel like with, with, like, the Migos, like... Uh, Migos is very interesting to me and I like to follow it. I personally am like indifferent about them for the most part. Like some uh songs are cool to me, but like mm. um they they said like some homophobic things uh in the past and present and like mm-hmm. uh every time I'm expecting like uh everybody on Twitter to just turn on them like they've done on so many others, like like they'll turn on mm-hmm. Azealia Banks or they'll they'll turn on anybody. And yeah, she turned on herself, dog. That's true, but <laughs> she's over the top. She's over the top with it. Yeah, I mean, I don't right. know everything that the Migos have said and done. I remember uh, at that performance on SNL, they didn't want uh, was it men dressed up as women? Yeah, or they something didn't like want to like drag queens. They didn't want to be near the drag queens and all that, and they didn't want to be like pictured with them or at the party with them. I think or something like right. that. Yeah, oh, they didn't then, want any. And they, I and they still the did though. I was like. Jeez. I thought it was just a performance, but they didn't want even to be close to them, like keep away from me type of thing. I, I think so, but then again, I could be wrong. I, I just want to state that to everyone listening. I could yeah. be wrong. <laughs> Never take anything full If it was just the fake. performance, and I'm not saying I agree. I'm just like looking at this from, you know, like trying to look at it honestly. Mm-hmm. If it was just the performance, I mean, you might be able to understand based off how their brand is and how they're built. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's not really their thing. But if they were being like, you know, don't even stand by me, whatever, that's a step further. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. And I know people would argue even not having them on the stage would be bad. And I, w- I would understand that, too. But I don't know. And I think you get what I'm saying. Yeah. They were like, also, like, like uh, they were asked about McConan when McConan came out as gay. And that's when it really started for me, Ghost, because they were like, uh, man, that shit not cool, basically. Like, 
they were very against yes. it and they just keep shattering yeah. these walls that i think are gonna stop them like they right. this all this drama keeps happening around them but they just keep rising and it's very interesting to see especially in today's society I, where you can just lose I everything forgot all about that oh yeah i forgot all about the, the mcconan thing but yeah that adds another layer to it all exactly the fact that you can like forget about that in general because like uh we don't forget about any the horrible shit like trump says or we don't forget about mm. horrible shit that almost anybody says uh but with migos it just it just keeps going forward with them uh, it's really i don't know how to describe it it's just very Nothing interesting can hold them back exactly to be to be fair though it's pretty easy to forget about McConan. I mean, come on. Let's, oh, yeah. Let's get, <laughs> gay or not. Like, I'm not trying to send some nasty shot at McConan. I don't know what he's up to right now. But I'm just saying, I mean, he's not a regular topic of discussion when people are discussing rap right now. I think he dropped a song recently, though. Last, I know he lost a lot of weight. He looks healthy. He looks oh, yeah. happy. He's being himself. I mean, that aspect, good for him. But I don't know musically what he's really done lately. Right. Mm, last song I heard from Makona was with Lil B, and I heard it because of Lil B. So uh, take that <laughs> with the, what you will. Um, <laughs> Black Ken on the way. You like Lil I, B? I, I love Lil B. First of all, <laughs> I, I can't wait for Black Ken. <laughs> Lil B. Uh, I feel like Lil B paved the way for not only this year's but last year's every single one of them their careers. On the, on the he's, XL like the, he's like the granddaddy of meme rap. Oh yeah, right. There would be no ugly god without Lil B. There would be no, uh, there would be no Lil Yachty or Lil Uzi. Lil Yachty even said this: like, there's no Lil Yachty without Lil B. Um, he, but what he is changed big? the landscape of the whole rap uh, game when he came out because people were like, is he for real or is he not for real? And then he just kept getting more and more ridiculous. But then once in a while, he dropped these songs where he was actually spitting. Mm -hmm. Like right. that uh, Age Information. That's one song I always remember of his where he's actually spitting. Oh, yeah. And he has a couple here and there where he's being semi-serious. But then he goes back to just calling himself a pretty bitch or whatever it is. He has songs like <laughs> uh, The Birth of Rap and The Death of Rap. They're amazing to me. Like he, uh, he raps like it's his last day ever to rap. And at mm. the same time, he'll the next video he drops will be the Ellen DeGeneres remix, and I I'm <laughs> equally hyped for that. And uh, I think what changed with Lil B is that at first people were questioning, is he serious? Is he not? And then mm -hmm. after a while, it's just like, does it really matter? Because he's gonna drop both of these kinds of songs regardless. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just pick and choose. What's that one called where he's on the Final Fantasy beat? Oh man! <laughs> what? Oh, that that beat is fire. I'm gonna get it's called like, fake uh, bass for not knowing this, but damn. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna it's, look it up now. <laughs> it's from it's from one of the like Final Fantasy ten. It's a, it's beach music. It's like ding 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 ding. I can't do the shit. Why? Like, I don't even know why I tried. I started doing. I'm like. Nigga, that sounds nothing like what the fuck the song goes. <laughs> is it called? I believe it's called "I Love You" because that's what that's popped what it up is. when Lil B Final Fantasy was put into Google. So yeah, yeah. And in the video, he's oh, you like, had to Google it. You're not real based. Crying. Yeah, I'm, not... I, I'm fake based. Everyone, just out me right now. <laughs> oh, that God. beat is crazy though, man. That that beat is wavy as hell. Lil B is always he's, like great beats. It's he's crying too on the song. Yeah, that's how it really is. That's how much Lil B loves you, man. He cries for you over Final <laughs> Fantasy beats. Shit's hard. Shit's hard, cuz. What else happened this year? Oh, ooh, I know how to get jazz in this conversation. <laughs> let's, oh, God. What? Let's, talk about, uh, let's talk about Gorillaz, cuz I really didn't... Um, With Gorillaz, oh. I never really, like... That w they were never really on my radar until recently. Like, <laughs> once their new album was about to drop, that's when I started looking into them. You know, I like them, but nowhere near as much as Jazz does. <laughs> yeah. This new album, I don't know. It's part, I think people liked it a lot, partly because it was like, what, like, fucking, I don't know, six plus years since Gorillaz left, like, had an right. album. Yeah. I don't know. It was, a, it was a while. But, like, I don't know, man. I feel like Demon Days was probably, like, their best album still. Yeah. Even with this I new agree. one. 
But like, I mean, the futures on it were pretty good. I, there's like a lot of people I wasn't expecting to be on it that were. And I mean, it's like a well thought out and put together album, but I just, it just doesn't really beat Demon Days. I think Demon Days just has all those memorable tracks. You know I mean? every song, oh, yeah. every song on that shit was fire. Because, like, even with the one song, I think, what is it, uh, Moments or whatever that had De La Soul in it, I was like, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's a good song, but, like, there is a better song that has De La Soul with the Gorillas mm-hmm. on the album Demon Days. So, <laughs> right. But I liked it, though. And apparently they got, like, I don't know, it's one of those, like, hearsay uh, things you see on online or whatever, but apparently, like... They got like a shit ton of fucking music like on deck that they've just been sitting on for like a while that they're like releasing it. slowly or some shit. So that's what happens when you wait around six years. That's what know, a lot seriously. of artists do. Yeah. Like Earl, Earl hasn't dropped anything and people are at him every day like, bro, drop something. Mm-hmm. But you right. know he's got like five albums worth just oh, yeah. sitting right. there. Didn't oh, he yeah. drop something just the other day? Did he? Uh, I, yeah. I saw a tweet of his that said something leaked, but he didn't drop anything. Um, if that makes sense. I, I know never Tyler seen he keeps had a song uh, tweeting like three days. I think I think we're at three days now. Oh yeah, or whatever. Uh, it's supposed to be like Thursday at midnight. I think. I would mm. think so. So. Yeah. Hopefully, music. Nine Hopefully. hours ago, Earl said, whispering loudly, "Earl Sweatshirt did not drop anything. That is a leak. Stop saying I dropped it." <laughs> No oh, shit. Let drop me it. tell you why Hobson is it. better than Tyler the Creator. <gasps> this is not 2009 Jordan, so <laughs> that argument will not be tolerated. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What? What did I just hear? <laughs> a, a lot. <laughs> that blasphemy. <laughs> Can you say it one more time? Uh, trying to throw up real quick. Say it one more time. I tried to say it, but you know my mouth just wouldn't let me put it out there. Did my, you say my body's you... rejecting saying that right now? <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> Sorry, I, I don't like Hobson. I, I don't. I oh, used I no. used to stand for that man, and y'all all know it. And I'm I'm deeply embarrassed every day, almost as embarrassed as a a, a certain Juggalo relation. Oh wow. Okay, we just gonna put it's got to be like every that. episode, oh, 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 okay. Daryl. You know oh, this. Okay, let, let's let's get into the Juggalos, man. <laughs> Who, who's the Juggalo homie? <laughs> Homies, <laughs> homies, talk about that dog's of mine. Hey, look, that's a great song. I almost forgot. I mean, Dang. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I, I, I know a lot of their songs. I know a lot of Twisted songs. I never was a Juggalo paint in my face, but I knew I knew a bunch of those songs. I mean, just you know, I like, it was only like once or twice, you know. It wasn't like... Daryl, just be happy you day. got someone to relate to now with it, bro. He, <laughs> just, he didn't inhale, guys. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You know, I didn't drink the Fago, okay? Like, <laughs> So, Daryl, yeah, at your like, work desk, you don't have like a little, you know, hatchet man or anything, do you? <laughs> nah. Okay, good. All right, you're, you're yeah, good. You're I've, good. I've got the, like, plainest desk at the office. Like, everybody has, like, pictures of their kids and stuff. And it's like, I don't I don't have any kids. <laughs> what, what do you expect me to put here? <laughs> <laughs> that you just, like, get pictures of random kids and just put them there. <laughs> Just go on Google in, like, and, and look pictures up pictures of like free pictures. Pokemon and shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this is Dark Magician here, and this is Pikachu. <laughs> you know? Oh man, they grow up so go. fast, right? <laughs> uh, I gotta man. ask one thing though. I, I I gotta know what you guys think about the Double XL freshman. I I know a lot of people hate them. Uh, uh, last year, everybody hated them, and I hated them at first. But besides, like, Designer and uh, probably 21 Savage, but I eventually grew to, like, most of them. Um, this year, I have no clue who most of them are, but I, I love, I love XXX Tentacion. Really? Oh, wow. You, you got a pronunciation He's... on there, too. Like, okay. Bruh, I, you, you got to <laughs> say it right when you got to come correct, but I... They were digging up his old tweets the other day too. Do you see that? Oh yeah, he's no. he's not a uh, the best person, but at the same time, I'm I'm not gonna ask uh, a kid hey, who uh, like killed a man in jail and been to jail multiple times about his stance on political hey, issues. Man. Rick James kidnapped a woman once. Let's. That's <laughs> true. He was, he, was, he was burning her up with hot spoons and shit, wasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, so, cocaine's I mean, a hell of a drug. 
<laughs> For real. <laughs> That's the thing, though. I, I understand what you're saying because you can look at a lot of artists and everybody got some shady shit in their past. Yeah, oh, yeah. Was it Chuck Berry who had, like, the cameras in the bathroom or something? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, like, watched it. He, <laughs> right, that? I gotta it's, Google Everybody's that. got something. He, he was into farts or something. Oh, right? I saw that shit, dude. <laughs> like, I, I literally sat there and I watched the video. And I was like, "What the fuck did I just watch?" I was like, "No, someone Chuck edited this." Sex tape. Him and, and his girlfriend swallowing what? his farts. Dude. Wow, he was just I like, "No, he had a sex tape." What? <laughs> Yo, Chuck Berry. It was weird. This dude was like, <laughs> "Oh man," this dude was like. Oh, yeah, a little fart never hurt anybody, baby. Go ahead and smell Oh, that. my God. Oh, bro. <laughs> but, but you know what kills me? Not only was he farting in her face, she was sucking that shit in like she was doing a super tote. <laughs> she, was inha- she was inhaling his farts. She wasn't just smelling it. She was like <laughs> sucking it in like she was trying to get some buzz off it. I'm <laughs> taking a Chuck hit of that farts. shit. Lord. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. the good stuff right there. That's the good Chuck stuff. Hey, yo, roll up that shit. Bring up that butt bong. <laughs> Let me take right. a hit right quick. <laughs> butt bong. That damn ass vape, Lord. God, <laughs> right. It's like parallels R. Kelly almost. Right. Oh, Hello. nothing parallels R. Kelly. <laughs> Jesus. Well, I'm looking at this cover now for 2017, and I'm just like, I don't know. 2016, I knew some of these people beforehand. Like but I already liked one, Anderson Pack. Right. Uh, oh Dave yeah. Dave East, I Anderson. think, had a decent year. Denzel Curry been fire for a long time. G Herbo, like that one, confused me because he's been around. He was around for quite a while before he made that cover last year. Oh, yeah, a long time. Yeah. I remember seeing his name it? on features. Was it like two or three years back and Jaron Benson, like, he got picked as a freshman. It's like, he's like 40. What are we doing? Like, yeah, so, oh, yeah, sometimes it's, I don't know. But th- this year's list, I think, how do you say that guy's name, by the way? Is it Amine? M- M- Amine? I, I have think? no idea. I watched I mean? his freestyle today, though. Like, it started out good. And then it's like, like he hey. just lost. He I don't know. He didn't know was what the fuck he was saying anymore. Was he off the top? Any? For real? Yeah, he was. Oh wow! At so I, I can I can be mad at him. You know what I mean? It's like okay, at least he, he got tried. some good songs. So I I heard some of his music and it sounds like he's sort of conscious and he ties in some singing. So he might be interesting. He might do something. That's all right. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't, I don't really fuck with any of these other artists on here, really. But I mean, I'll give him a chance. That uh, I kind of like a boogie, but a boogie's all right. But like, he reminds me. I, I I was born in New York, but I never like lived there. But I would go back occasionally for a few summers. A boogie yeah. is like the uh, he's he's like a certain archetype of New York nigga. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it cracks me up every time I like see or hear him. It's just like that, like kind of like pretty boy New York nigga. Like, yeah. and the same happened with Bobby Shmurda to me, and I love Bobby Shmurda, but Bobby Shmurda is like every, this going to sound Get colorist, out, and I'm not colorist, but he's like the archetype not for colorist. a dark-skinned Brooklyn nigga, like, oh my god. Dork. Not dark dark skin. Dork. Dork skin. <laughs> skin. Right. Dork. Dead dork, my guy. <laughs> I don't know, man. That Bobby bitch video was hilarious, though. He was dancing. It was ridiculous. Oh my god, I can't wait till uh, Bobby's that the one free. where he's in the where he's on the table, that made me uncomfortable. <laughs> Remember the one where he's like, he's dancing in front, and like all the people are just sitting back, like, yeah, it's very good. Dance for us. <laughs> oh, look at him go. <laughs> Yo, those are always so weird. I saw a designer video, and he's like doing a performance at like art show. And it's yeah. just a bunch of like older white people just staring at him. And he's like, yeah. he's, he's doing jumping panda, around doing his designer he's, thing. He's designer like, oh, screaming. <laughs> right? <laughs> and they're just all sitting there. Right? They're oh, so calm. It's like, okay. Well, I gotta give yeah, him props, man. He went all out for that little that little bitty performance. He did. That's what you got. I, th- I commend artists who can do stuff like that. Just keep working right. in that empty room. I feel like he should be further than he is right now. It seems like he's been around for a long time. Panda seems like it was a long time ago. We did just get that outlet video, but I don't know, man. Like that mixtape he dropped didn't make a whole lot of noise. I thought that was dumpster oh, wow. juice. I didn't even oh, know yeah, he dropped the mixtape. I, I love Designer, but that tape was like very disappointing. Trash. I'm I'm waiting on his. He's supposed to drop a Life of Designer album. This is what happens when people are not prepared for fame. Because if he had dropped mm-hmm. that like right after the whole Timmy Turner thing, like he would have yeah. been huge. Like he would have gotten Future out of here, honestly. If he would have just had something. That's what I'm curious something. about now. Like if he dropped now, 
if he dropped now, are people really going to be as hyped for him as they could have been? I'm not sure. Because no, no. they're going to be like, the man, mask of off is better, bro. Right. Designer used yeah. to be on everything. Like he was on every meme. He was like walk. He was just getting filmed like in like in New York, just having a good time and getting yeah. all the clout off that. Right. He just doesn't have that anymore. No, he should have dropped. Drop something. Not that mixtape, though. The best thing about that mixtape was the little opera pieces on it. Oh, or the yeah. orchestra pieces. But I don't know. We'll see. I don't, have, I don't have a lot of faith. I just haven't heard much from him that's overly original. Um, I don't know, in my opinion. He separated himself apart from Future, but I'm not saying right. they sound exactly the same, but... I don't know. I guess I just need to hear more from them. Yeah. Just like with these new freshmen. I, I haven't heard enough of all these guys. Well, I heard <laughs> Playboy Cardi. Heard a lot of him. His freestyle. Did you see that? Oh, yeah. That was nah, basically was Magnolia, like, 1.5 right there. Yeah, that was rough. Real rough. But I guess he was freestyling for real anyway. That counts for something. I guess. Right. I'd hope. Um, what was it? PNB Rock. That dude... They said he supposedly got a 15 year old pregnant. Um, <laughs> what? Yeah, what? Was, yeah. Some girl, uh, they found like her Instagram. Everybody's like being weird about it. Be like, oh, she doesn't look 15 or whatever. But like, I feel like to meet somebody, you got to know, like you can just tell like, if you have a decent conversation with them. Do they seem 20 or do they seem 15? Like, there's a yeah, very clear see, difference. Yeah, that's- that's a very distinct difference. You're yeah, talking like, like hmm, that no. Right. All it takes I can't get somebody's exact age, but I can guess the range. You know, like, yeah. oh, I've talked to you for 10 minutes. I know a yeah. good range for your age. Right? Like, if they're starting to think, you know, say things like, man, I hope I pass my, you know, driver's exam <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> I mean, I, I just got my permit. Like, <laughs> right. you know, it's, it's red flag. This is a yeah. little bit of a red flag right there. All right. Who knows how it went down, though, man? Some of these girls, they get up in the club, and, you know, let's say he's in there drinking, having a good time, and this girl's there, and she looks grown, and maybe it just goes too fast. You yeah. know what I'm saying? This is bad all but around. But she's in the club. Like, when you're in the club, you're not just like, excuse me, let me see your ID, miss. Yeah. Right? Because <laughs> you kind of assume, like, oh, she's in here. It's, she's probably 21. Yeah. Yeah. Or if you're even in Canada, I mean, you only got to be 19. So it's what? even crazy. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah, man. Whoa. Man, I think about moving to Canada all the time now. Like, Same. I, I yeah. got people in Canada. Yeah. Have you ever but, been to any part of Canada? For no. A visit or anything? <laughs> I've, been I've been to Niagara America Falls. recently. So <laughs> I've been to the Buffalo side of Niagara Falls because that's where I'm from. So oh, there you go. <laughs> And it's funny, people know I'm from Canada, and they always ask me, like, do you know so-and-so, or what's Toronto like? It's like, there's other places in Canada, <laughs> aside from Toronto. Like, I'm in Nova Scotia, or on the East Coast, like, way tucked away. i never even been to Toronto before, so I can't even tell you. Oh, man. <laughs> but I get, that, I get that shit a lot. Is it true that they have, like, uh, milk in bags? I was literally I about to ask, ask that. that. I Bro. wanted to ask. Hell, yeah. Here's, so here's what you do. You go to the store and you buy your milk in a bag. It's usually a little bit cheaper. And you cut the top corner of it, right? So you got a little spout. Right. You sit the, you sit the milk in a jug. You don't pour it out. You have, you have the pouch in the jug. And then when you pour it, it comes right out. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is I wild. Know. I don't know. <laughs> it seems yeah. so wild, but I feel like it's way better <laughs> than like is. buying a big plastic jug every time you want some milk. Oh, we got we have the plastic jugs, we have the cartons, the bags. What so kind of milk you want? Bag <laughs> milk. There's so many options milk. for milk. Yeah, I never see cartons anymore, so that's that's gone in America. That's but gone in America. If, if, if you want to buy a potato, just one potato, you can get that plastic wrap. Hey, ooh, nigga, what? Which is, yeah, you never been to the grocery store. And they've got plastic wrap individual potatoes now. See, y'all so, niggas in the Midwest like and shit. Out. So I'm in the South I'm where that shit does not happen. <laughs> Bro. We got that shit here too, man. Except you can buy it and it comes in foil. So it's what? great. It's One just ready potato. for the barbecue. Wow. Right. Yeah, man. Let's say you're going over to your boy's house to have a barbecue. You're just like, hey, 
Let me pick don't. this shit up right quick. <laughs> All right. Pick up your little potato with a foil. Hey, bro, throw hey, potato bro, can on the you grill do me a for favor, me, bro. Right beside the hot dog, just grill my potato for me. <laughs> yeah, grill this shit up, B. <laughs> it's a good idea, though, man. I ain't gonna lie. But you think how much money they're making because they probably charge just for the convenience of that. It's probably like two dollars. Right. But then you can get a five-pound bag of potatoes on special for like ninety-nine cents sometimes. You huh. really can. That's oh, wild. Potatoes, man. You can't go wrong with that shit. It's so cheap. Right. Yeah. Don't get me started on my dad. You'll have to excuse me with my dad talk. Mm. Oh, oh, no, no. Are it's so cheap. That's my bro college it. talk right, right. there. I'm potatoes, here for rice, it. beans, all more. that shit. Super cheap. Let's <laughs> yeah, that's the same shit. Broke, broke college boy and a dad. <laughs> right. <laughs> Using the same tricks, man. <laughs> exactly. Same tricks trying to get by. Oh, that's where man. that, though. That's real. Buy as many noodles as you can. Right. And frozen vegetables. Oh, yeah. I stay and noodled you just up. Put the vegetables in that. Buy some You got to stay noodle up. Noodle up. Uh, I once had a roommate. I saw him, like, cut eggs with, like, water. Like, I was like, come on, bro. What is he doing? Like, <laughs> like it's mm. not helping anything. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, there's tricks out there. Malcolm Brogdon just won Rookie of the Year, and Eric Gordon won six, man. They stole my Rookie of the Year from either Embiid or Saric, bro. I'm pissed. You know what? He ain't playing enough games. Nah, I'm playing. He didn't, I feel but like, if he but was a finalist, yeah. he should have equal chance, no? Man. I don't know. I feel like the Sixers, if they stay healthy, they're going to be scary as shit. Oh, yeah, like, I can't wait, bro. Now, it's going to be a good season next year. There's so much shit up in the air right yeah, now. It's not going to be a good season for Indiana. Let's let's just yeah. be honest right there. <laughs> hey, man, Paul George is going to be playing and just phoning it in every game. We're going back to the post-Reggie Miller years where it's like Danny Granger is putting up 30 every night, but nobody else is getting more than 10. Like That's, yep. where, that's where we're going back to. Danny Granger. Holy fuck. I forgot about him. Where was man. it he went after that? Was he on the Miami team at some point? He, he was. His knees Sixers. just his knees died on him. He went <laughs> he Sixers, Miami. Uh, I think he did the a little Clippers. time in Phoenix. Yeah, it's, his knees hate him though. So he was like, you know, I'm done. <laughs> oh, so he got around, right? Yeah, the league is going to be pretty much on lock. I think the next year or two, unless something drastic happens to the Warriors. Yeah. They're just going to get old. I, I feel like in, in like. Uh, in like maybe three years, I, I don't know how long Steph Curry's prime will last. It's very scary to think about, but mm. I, at most he has like five Man. years of being as dominant as he is. I don't, I don't even know if it's that because like I'm scared for dude because he had Derrick Rose syndrome for a little bit. You know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah, he was always out. It was his ankles, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, all the time. So it's like, I don't know. I counted him out. I was like, man, he would have been good if he kept those angles together. And now it's like, oh, shit, he's good. <laughs> yeah, he's been doing his thing. Obviously, man, they killed it. They killed it. The Cavs, they got that one game, but that was just luck. Breaking luck. that three-point record. Right. They broke right. all I, I knew they weren't winning another game after that. I knew they weren't doing anything after that because you're not going to have a repeat performance right. like that. Oh, that, yeah. that doesn't happen. Right. I don't know. I don't know. I feel bad what'd for the Knicks, though. <laughs> what'd you guys think of that Vince Staples record? Did you check that out? I listened to it I, once, and I had I a good time with it. I listened to about half of it on my way to work tomorrow. <laughs> no, I did not listen to it. It's it, really different. It's very... Vince is always a little different, though. He's like, he, he. It sounds like a, a collaboration of Gorillaz and Vince Staples, really. It's... <laughs> yeah, I can hear that. I, I kind of... Because what was that song he had on the Gorillaz album? Was was that that Ascension or something? Uh, Yeah. Ascension? Yeah. Ascension. I think it's the first track. Yeah, really just different creative sounding track. And he's got a lot of those on this new one. Took a couple listens for me. I mean, I don't love it as much as everyone else because I'm generally not crazy about overly experimental hip hop. Uh, I like it once in a while, but it's still pretty accessible though, man. It has some bangers on it. I think he's got some good buyers on there, too. He's rapping his ass off, so... Worth checking out, anyway, especially if you do like Gorillaz. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Um, I'll definitely have to give it a look. This... The, the album he dropped... Wow, he's on The Tonight Show tonight, I think. Um, but the the album was really... 
I, I expected it because of the singles A and B because in the past few years he's done a bunch of tracks with like EDM guys like whether he's just featuring right. on it and uh, he did the Gorillas thing and I, I just saw it coming but the way yeah. he delivered it I, I really expected way more poppiness and way more more por- portions of like the electric stuff like I expected a bunch of like drops and like kinds of stuff like that but like he actually kept like rapping for real like it was a lot of focus on the bars he was on and that was very surprising for me at least and it shouldn't really be because it's Vince Staples he's always gonna bring the bars right but it's just it's just a little left of what I expected yes it's it's not really something I'm gonna come back to a lot but I still appreciate it and I think it's I think it's a pretty good album but you know how it is there's some albums that just suit your taste a bit more that you come back to. True. Like, I like that Gold Link album. A lot of people didn't like that, but man, I've been killing that, especially now that it's summertime. I never got a chance. I might look that up. Gold Link. You should type that It's in. a bit different. Not everyone's a fan of his flow because he's sort of, it's like a run on sentence almost. Mm. <laughs> but he has a lot of, he has a lot of great production, man. You got some beats from Kate Renata. <laughs> Oh man, Run On Sins is like perfect way to describe that. <laughs> it's, it's what he does, isn't it? Like he's trying to explain a situation to you and he needs to make sure that he finishes before you speak. Right. <laughs> oh man, yeah. what, else, what else we got here? Uh, hmm. Joe SNES Budden. classic, baby. Oh yeah, SNES, SNES. That, oh my that god. Too. Oh. Those, those are oh, two yeah. good topics at the same time. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Let's conduct them both. So right. Joe Budden was playing a SNES, and uh, right, he yelled at it. You, know? <laughs> you weren't raised like this SNES, you know. <laughs> he was having too much fun. Right. What is his feeling? Is what this is joy? Yeah, he say hip hop, and then he just like <laughs> kicks it and out the window. Yeah, I wonder so if like cool. the rest of Slaughterhouse ever calls him and was like, "Hey, Joe, chill out, man. What are you doing?" <laughs> Like, then again, I don't know, man. They they were all kind of crazy. Yeah. Joe was I'm just like, curious to see mad. what's going to happen with this Migos thing. I, probably uh, nothing. I don't know. Yeah, it does kind of seem like maybe it's just done. But they, they posted up right quick, though. They did. They were very they were quick. Ready. <laughs> and they, like, stood up in secession. You know what I mean? Like. Three Musketeers. Right. <laughs> If one of us fights, we all fight. <laughs> but like, what what was Joe going to do? Like, even if he's matched, like, good for 1v1, he's not going to take on 3v1 right there. He was going to yell Slaughterhouse, and they were all going to show up and back him up. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. He said they were too sassy. Nah. <laughs> That's what he says on his Twitter. He says they are too sassy. Man, I feel like they just got tired of all the questions. Like, repeat that? Huh? Can you say that again? Yeah. Uh, were you left off bad and bougie? Mm. So did you get left off bad and bougie? Like, come on, man. They, yeah, they, they weren't hearing that. Somebody yeah. said it was like uh, they were trying to be like uh, the breakfast club with like Charlemagne trying to rile them up. And, and see, I feel like they DJ Vlad because they just try to get too. rappers to say crazy stuff. You know what I mean? It almost seems like DJ Academics just doesn't know better. Like, I, I don't know. Yeah. It seemed pretty innocent to me. He's just like, are you left off bad and bougie? What? What? Huh? Like Say I don't think he was purposely trying to. I think it was. I think it was just <laughs> such an awkward, naturally occurring moment. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Right. Like I don't know. I feel like every time I see that show, everyday struggle is like he's one way on Twitter, and then he's like complete opposite in real life. And it's like, like on Twitter, he'll talk crazy about you and your mama, and then like, yeah. So I'm and a big fan stream. of you. You know. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of people have been calling him out for that because on his streams and his YouTube channel too, like he says all kinds of shit. But then when they're there, it's pretty different when the person is right in front of your face and you're not just right. sitting on a webcam, you know? True. I, I think about that shit sometimes. Like I, I try not to bash the person, you know what I mean? But I'll rip, I'll rip the music sometimes. But yeah. I don't, I don't hate on someone for being happy and successful and being themselves. Right. You know what I mean? That's the other side of it. But I just sort of exaggerate and use hyperbole just for jokes when I'm talking about music, you know? Mm -hmm. I feel like it's very hard for people, including me sometimes, to, like, separate 
uh, what somebody does, like with their work or and like who music, they are. Because yeah. like, mm-hmm. like John Tron, I I love John Tron. I know, man. I love <laughs> every up. John Tron up. video on me. John Tron. I can't up. watch him nowadays. I just uh, no. It's, it's really yeah, I want it's to. hard. I want to be able to separate it, but I just can't. I'm like, this nigga hates me. Like, why am I laughing at him? Right. <laughs> Like, you it's know like you'll be laughing like ha ha that's great wait he he hates me yes and the worst thing about it to me is that you know if he just told like one really bad joke and apologized or something by now you might be over it and be like you know he changed or whatever oh yeah but he, he was like that he was ranting video, man he, he was going on a tirade right. about black people and immigrants or whatever it was i haven't i haven't watched it in a while but he was like he really felt what he was saying and then right. in his so-called apology um, video, he just doubled down and started pulling up <laughs> statistics. Oh, and yeah. Shit. I was like, right. all right. So look guy. at these statistics. Now, these are all true facts. Now, what? stop taking money People? away from my family. Like, See, get I, back here and watch these videos. I love Game I can't Grumps. Get one up. Uh, I love Game Grumps. And Dude, Game John, Grumps have been ruined if John was still on there. Oh, my God. <laughs> John, he did say like the N word on the show in the past. They bleeped it out, but it's pretty clear what he said. And like, uh, it, it was back in like no. the olden days. Uh, we say the olden days, but it was really like 2012. But the days where right. he didn't catch too much heat for that kind of stuff. Because uh, yeah. like Eagle Raptor has said the N word in a in a song not bleeped out, and I, I can listen to that song and laugh at it. And it is very hypocritical of me. I know that. That I can laugh at Aaron doing it, but not uh, John. But it's really oh, hard yeah. with John because it's just the emphasis he put on it all. Like he didn't even have oh, to yeah. say the N word to know like everything he was saying in that rant was a place from a place of hate. So, and that's the thing. You're looking at one guy who said it in a song. Maybe he said it as a joke or for whatever the reason. And then you're looking at John Tron, who was really like making it clear how he felt. Yeah, right. you know, and that's the thing with me too. This comes back to the thing about you know black people not being monolithic, and when it comes to that word, not everybody feels the same way. Like <laughs> sometimes, just depend on who it is. You don't lose your mind over it. Like Louis C.K. has used it in his stand-up. Oh yeah, but he's extremely clever, and the way that he uses it, it's like it's just part of his joke and what he's saying. You know what I mean? Right. Mm-hmm. And he's not coming Kramer out and saying it. some wild <laughs> shit. Well, yeah, that's. <laughs> I don't know. It's a, it's a loaded word, you know what I mean? It's not not right. everyone's going to feel the same way about it depending on who says it. But I don't know. But yeah, John Chong, he got me fucked up with that cuz I was a big fan of his. Huge fan. I think we all yeah. were, man. He I was hasn't like, done uh, a video since, not, not that I seen. Tron. Why did it have to be John Tron? Right. It's like it could have been anybody else. No, it had to be you. That's so crazy, and he like hasn't put out like a video ever since that. So like he kind of knows no. he fucked up, and the fact that like oh, he yeah. did the apology video and like he tried to save face, but at the same time he's not trying to save face, and at the same right. time he knows he fucked up because he doesn't want to upload anything. He knows he's gonna get like a mountain of like dislikes, right? And whatever. Forty-seven dislikes in three minutes, you know. It's been six months since he uploaded something, man. Jeez. That's crazy. That's that's a long time. I just checked his channel now just to see. Right. And Fucking it, John Tron, dude. It sucks too because he he was his humor was so silly and lovable. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Like oh, I, ne- yeah. I never would have thought that he would come out and say some shit like that. That's why it was even more shocking. Yeah. You know, if it was someone who was very edgy and sketchy from the start, you might not be as surprised. Right. But this is like a, left field for John Tron, kind of like just like mm-hmm. wow. Right. Ugh. That's crazy. It loops back to our thing. Like you can lose everything in just one minute of doing something. Right. Yep. Seriously. The internet doesn't play around. Nope. But and it's I, very I unforgiving. Like, I think some people take it too far, though. Like oh, the topic yeah. the other day when people were trying to say that Bruno Mars is a, <laughs> a cultural. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, that, that was lady. like the <laughs> dumbest thing. <laughs> that lady's horrible. <laughs> That Wait, was what one of the worst that? tweets I ever seen in my life. This they lady were... had like a series of tweets, and she's like, "Bruno Mars is culturally appropriating funk music from black people. Sure, oh. he gives black people credit, and he has black people on stage with him, but it's still cultural appropriation, and we need to stop him." And then later that same night, 
Bruno Mars won a BET award. And he's like, hey, Soul Train was the first time I was ever on TV. And it was the first award I ever got. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. okay. it's like the blackest thing ever, right? Right. <laughs> it's like, oh, man. Yeah, that, everybody's that like, no, we're me. not going to hate Bruno. No, no. I'm glad people didn't jump on that one. Like, she got right. a couple hundred retweets, but for the most part, people saw right through that because he he's a student of the game. Right. He shows love to the people who came before him. He spits about the culture behind the music, the people who inspire and influence him. It's not like they just picked him up off the street and said, here, wear these gold chains and do this. <laughs> exactly. You know, he's not like a caricature or anything. Right. She Hello, tried to people. play him with that Miley Cyrus right there. It's like, <laughs> right, that Katy Perry, right? <laughs> oh, oh, that whole Perry. Katy Perry thing. She's kind of sketchy with it, though. She is right. She like tried Some to play, she... uh, pay respect, but like you could tell it's very reactionary. Like she didn't feel led to say that until somebody said, "Hey, Katy, you're you're kind of sketch." <laughs> mm-hmm. I hate those fake ass apologies too. So she's sitting on the couch with DeRay and they're sitting cross legged, like, oh, they didn't know. Oh, what do you yeah. mean you didn't know? You've been doing this shit for years. Like, you really that right. naive? People have been talking about it for years, how you basically, you know, are dressing up like caricatures, and that's a bit more offensive to people. Right. You know? I jump like. People don't let that slide. I jump like between kind of feeling about cultural appropriation because at some points I'm like, uh, does it really matter? Like, who's it really affecting? Because I'm looking at specific cases like right. Katie. I, I feel like Katy Perry isn't affecting that much when it comes to appropriation. Like, um, I, like certainly what she's doing isn't the best thing she could be doing at the same time. I don't think anybody's lives or like images are being ruined. Uh, <laughs> but then there's true. other times there's other times that I'm like, all right, uh, the fucking Iggy Azalea is like talking shit about oh, all God. these people and <laughs> just back and forth. And I'm like, get her out of here. Like, <laughs> yeah, I think the Katy Perry thing is just, she's annoying to yeah. a lot of people. So, yeah. so true, true. When she's, when she's doing it, it just takes it to the next level, which could be hypocritical in some senses, but I don't know. I feel like people take it too far too. Like if, you know, if a white person gets dreadlocks and people are like, Oh my God, how dare you? Like the, I don't really care when yeah. I see a white person with dreadlocks. It's not affecting me. I can't. I can't I work speak with someone that does. I could care less. I don't look at it and go, "Oh my god, my black heritage right. is just being threatened right now." <laughs> exactly. My black senses are tingling. Someone's culturally appropriating around black. Me. Right. I'm just like, I'm just like, whatever. Your hair looks exactly. kind of like a straw. Kind of looks like straw put together. But if that's what you want, <laughs> oh, do what man. you got to do. Gotta do you. Yep. But man. But situational basis, man. It's, it's right. you know, everybody. You can't have one answer that applies to everything, I guess. Mm-hmm. Nah, but that's never. sort of how the internet works, especially on yeah. Twitter, because you only have so many words. Yeah, everything is say. black and white in Twitter. Yeah, you, you gotta love I mean, it or hate it. It's like, right? Yeah. Because you can't have that flowing conversation where if you say something and someone interjects and corrects you or guides you, you know, a different way. You don't get right. that on Twitter. It's like, there's what I think. And then it's, here's what I think about what you think. And it just goes <laughs> back and forth like that. That's all it is. There's no real you right. know, discussion. Right. You're usually just arguing and shit. Nobody's really yeah, this- solving anything. It's just, it's, you're either preaching to the choir or preaching to the people who want to see you dead. Like, nobody's changing <laughs> any opinion at all. They're just yelling. And it's just really yeah. pointless. It's just funny, like, I wonder if some of these people on Twitter are like that in real life. Like that girl complaining about Bruno Mars, for example. Like, is she like that in real life? There's no way. Just pointing out every little thing. Really lame. Just one attention. (laughs) Needs, yeah. yeah. Right. Who's the one girl on Twitter, and she's always, like, she's, like, super pro-black feminist, and she's always, like, riding high on her high horse, and then somebody's, like... Isn't this your mugshot when you got arrested for, <laughs> for stealing money? Oh, yeah, I know school? who that is. Like, what is exactly her? What you're I forgot her about. name. It's like she'll always be like trying to talk down to people and they'll just bring that mugshot up. And it's like I crack is up it every time. Jones? No, I don't think so. It's a, I don't think she was robbing the school, man. Oh, no, no. I think it's Go I'm Gabby sorry. or something like I, that. I don't, I don't think. Not that part, but I don't know. 
I just know people get into it with her a lot. That was oh, she she blocked me on Twitter once. <laughs> I, I felt so bad. I didn't feel bad at all because it's like uh, this woman tweeted out like. Uh, this man called me a bitch because I didn't buy his mixtape, and I, I was like, this. "You should have bought the mixtape." <laughs> like, that, that set her off. But, but like the next tweet was like, "Rappers call everybody a bitch who doesn't listen to their mixtape." Like, <laughs> like you know how many times I've been called a bitch because I didn't listen to somebody's mixtape? Yeah, and it's like no, that set her people, off. Some people take every little thing and they have to spiral it. You know what I mean? Right. It's they make snakes out of twigs, as the old saying goes. They see something that's not really that big right. of a threat, but they need to make it into a threat. True. Yeah. It's got to be like, exhausting living like that. Oh, man, my gosh. It would drive me Definitely. crazy. I don't have enough patience for it. <laughs> nope. Just to log on every day looking to cause problems. Like, why would you want that right. much negativity in your life? Right. S- strolling down the timeline. Hmm, what can I be mad about today? Right. Seems like someone's enjoying the new uh, Pokemon Black game. Let me tell you why it's racist to name the game <laughs> Pokemon, Pokemon Black. Black? Like, Black? Let me tell you about Pokemon? Jinx and how right. she's a minstrel Capturing character. Capturing them basically. like they did the slaves? Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, man. It's like Someone out make... there's probably said that for real. That's a funny thing. Oh, yeah, probably. you know it's true. I don't doubt it. Pokemon is just a modern day slave simulator. All right, that's all it is. <laughs> slave simulator 2017. Exactly. I would definitely play that, honestly. <laughs> just, dear God. <laughs> just like <laughs> VR, just <laughs> you getting whipped. Just, <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, shit. I'm laughing way too hard at that, but it's just so ridiculous. Slave simulator. Slave simu- I feel mean, like somebody some people would pay for that, too. I need my royalties. You right. set this shit up and it's like a sports game. It's like Slave Simulator. <laughs> Slave Simulator 2017. N I G G E R. It's in right. the field. <laughs> They've got like Fuck Dance man. Dance Revolution oh, mini games goddamn. set to like slave hymns and stuff. Like, oh, right. Day one nigger edition. <laughs> we better stop giving out ideas. Someone's oh, going to hear this and be like, hmm. Josh right. John's probably going to be like, hmm. Coming right. soon Sorry. to Steve. <laughs> there you go. Black He's going to get a voice people? roll on that damn Plantation right. DLC. <laughs> plantation. Not the Plantation uh, DLC, dog. This nigga's got like high scores, most cotton picked in one day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why oh, this is so man. funny. <laughs> Slaves it's so horrible. Fucking, it's, you, it's so horrible, but at the same time, it's like, come on, man. They'll, they'll do something the like idea, it the, the idea is so ridiculous. That's why it's funny. Exactly. Obviously, it's not the slavery that's funny. It's the fact that just the, uh, you could you can make a game out of anything. Right. Slave it's sort of like Dave Chappelle's kids. Like, like, they were so ridiculous, they were funny. Like, Clayton Bixby, he was a clan leader. Right. Didn't know he was black. Like, Bruh. that's hilarious. Or, or, like, the gay America and dudes like, twerking as he cuts his grass like that shit's hilarious like like come on man it's so over the top bro i'm still thinking about it (laughs) (laughs) like i'm thinking like you could choose a character class field it field it (laughs) bro i'm thinking of that too i'm thinking like you're changing clothes like gta and it's just like just random like different colored like like cloth just not even right. like good you gotta like level up Bro. to like go to the house and get like decent clothes and shit right you got those rpg stats man if right. you, you gotta get you gotta get your agility up right six right. points bonus charisma if you pick house nigga you know what i mean like <laughs> fucking max them out you can overthrow the damn owner right bill mayer dlc dog like it'll be great Bro. <laughs> <laughs> shit. oh shit man oh man yeah, they make games at everything. Did you ever see that shower with your dad simulator? Oh what? my god! Yeah, I saw. No, <laughs> wait, it's see- crazy, bro. What this shit is weird? <laughs> I saw the dad dating sim, but not shower with your dad sim. That- Jordan, you know that one oh, game with that the girls played? Old. Fuck Mr. Hatcher, <laughs> dog. What? <laughs> what? This game called yeah. Fuck Mr. Hatcher. It's it's about a kid who wants to fuck his friend's dad, 
and like <laughs> what you can do that that's a thing you can do yeah oh man that's a thing you can do games are so weird uh, now. i'm i'm seeing it right now the game drums did a video oh yeah that's what <laughs> i saw <laughs> <laughs> fucking danny danny uh, i don't want to spoil the episode so uh i'm gonna be watch watching it, it later so you have to matter. watch it but oh my god <laughs> you'll see you'll see I feel like the only time I watch Game Grumps is when you tell me some ridiculous. The only time you watch like, Game Grumps is when no, you're playing a Jordan. gay porn game. <laughs> the first time I even heard of that video, we, wa- me and my friend that also watches the Grumps, watched the animated for it. Oh lord! Without any con, without any context. <laughs> so <What>? like, <laughs> you just walked just, into a wormhole, bro. Right. It was terrible. You walk in like, what is this? What? What? So yeah, I highly recommend if you need a good laugh, go go watch that later. Oh my god, I'm watching it. Oh my oh my god, did he just do it? <laughs> a thing pops up. What do you want to do? Rub his thigh, rub his nuts, or squeeze his nuts? What? <laughs> the only uh? option. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> they they're very specific. Like you you get to pick ten different things you want to do to this poor man's nuts. And you just sit in a chair having a beer. Just relaxing. <laughs> the gay sex simulator 2017. Oh, man. <laughs> Can't wait hey, to try. That's probably Everything. a thing by now. You know what I mean? Oh, th- I'm pretty sure they probably... have, like, VR sex games, you know? VR porn Didn't exists. They... Oh, what? yeah, without a doubt. You Can't know? wait to pick up Pussy Slayer 16. Like Everybody has VR. Damn. If you have a smartphone, you have VR, bro. Yep, you have VR capabilities. Yeah, true. Let's do it. So- I just saw this other tweet someone dug up from XXX Tentacion, and it says, <laughs> I like girls that are 12 or older. What? <laughs> Yo! Yo! Uh, What's wrong with this man? Young R. Kelly. <laughs> he, has, he has one tweet that says, uh, he used to, like, tuck his dick in between his legs and pretend he has a vagina. That's a thing he said. <laughs> um... <laughs> Don't we all? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. You guys must have saw the game Grumps are making that uh, that Dream Daddy game. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, wow. Honestly, yeah. if, if I can get Jaren to play it with me, I'll play it. But that man's max masculinity eggshells. Not eggshells, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> eggshells are pretty strong he sometimes. Like oh. My masculinity <laughs> oh, is pretty diamonds. I can do almost anything and just be really? fine. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Same. So. Daryl, well, you know, you know how far I can go. Yeah, I do. Jazz, let's, you let's do. Let's skip that. <laughs> mm-hmm. I do know. My only response is you see my tweets. <laughs> right. <laughs> But man, I, that game lo- actually looks like really interesting. It, it's so it does. N- it's so niche. And it's weird. just so random, you right? Know, like, it's like, hmm. Yeah, that's your a crazy dad idea. And moved to town. It's a bunch of other dads, and it, it's a game of dads dating other dads. I believe it's not like you're just a character finding a dad. It's dads <laughs> with dads, right? Yeah, and you ha- you have a daughter. Yeah. Too, apparently and she goes out to college and she helps you <laughs> fall in love or some shit i don't know why that sounds so ridiculous oh i gotta play it when it comes out <laughs> oh, i'm playing it that I sounds so ridiculous that's what i already know about sure. streaming shit i already know it's gonna be silly so right like and plus you know get them views relevance Me. so true that I mean, like it's I, like dating sims are already so weird, and then you add another level on top of it. Like, oh, I remember playing them on Newgrounds. Oh my god, Newgrounds! Grounds. They, had, they had crazy uh, games on Newgrounds. I was I was super dope at them on Newgrounds. Uh, fun fact: did not help me dating in real life. Let's just uh, like no, no. Nah. Shit, man! You got to play that Rune Factory Four. Turns out they don't really like uh, when you give them cigarettes. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> no, smoke these. Man, Newgrounds has some of the of, best games, dog. It's funny how so many games incorporate that now. You look at the Fire Emblem series, and they all have the dating happening in that. You can talk to certain people and charm right. them up. Mm-hmm. Room Factory 4, like I said, the same thing. You can get married and have kids and do everything. 
It's, it's weird because it's in everything now. Like, like the new Mass Effect game, like, you can totally be a surrogate father or some shit. Bruh, in, like, 2K, in NBA 2K17, you have a girl and then you dump her. Like, <laughs> that's a <real>. thing. <laughs> Well, you know, Spike Lee ruined that franchise, so, you know. He did. That was the worst <laughs> breath. I will never forgive Spike Lee for that. I'll never forgive him for Red Hook Summer, so. I haven't bought a 2K since the one that had um, that Flo Rida song, Roots, on it. I know exactly what you're talking about. That's so a wild amazing, choice. so amazing. That was a good one, though. That was, uh, year was that? 2K10. So amazing. Yeah, so amazing was on Is 2K10. That- Two K eleven is the best basketball game ever made, and it will n- it hasn't been topped yet. But let me tell you about this NBA Live. No, I'm playing. That what? game's never coming out. <laughs> NBA Live two thousand five. It's, it's never coming out. Like first, it was like, yeah, we're just gonna push it back to the spring, all right, and that's when we'll drop. I mean, they had some E three. It looked. Did decent? they really? What? Yeah. I didn't. People what? were they playing like full lies, game man. builds and stuff. It, it's coming that's, out. Man, that was modded 2K. I don't know what you're talking yeah. about. Like, NBA Live 97, baby. Right. Rich Richmond on the cover. Oh, boy. Rich Yo, Richmond. Does anybody remember NBA Ballers? Chauncey yes. Phillips on the cover. Yes. Yo. Bruh. That was so crazy. That was I, like the I lowest like point of black culture. I the second like. one. <laughs> That was when black people hit the lowest point they could. Nah, I it love wasn't that hated game. by black people, but we knew who it was for. Hey, look, I spent hours in that second game. Like NBA Ballers too, man. I did it all. I was dancing with the mascots and everything. Car wash. I wish back it was, NBA and NFL was, Street. Oh, let's let's not talk about NFL Street. I was horrible at that game. Nigga, I would kill everybody at that game. I mean, I'm horrible at all sports games, but I was like exceptionally horrible at that one. <laughs> oh man! Gotta get on that NBA Jam tournament edition. Oh my gosh, that <laughs> game's great too. Put the hot spots on, and you're dunking for nine points. Right. <laughs> I had that. I was a Sega Saturn kid, so I had that on the go. Yeah, the mm. Sega Saturn. Yeah, man. Man, everyone else had a PlayStation. I had a Sega Saturn, so it was kind of cool. I still got to play all the PlayStation games, but. Saturn had some gems on it too. Hmm. All the fighters were better on Sega Saturn. Just the controller. Sega Saturn has one of the best controllers ever. Huh. I have no idea. Let me look that up. I have no idea. I'll what tell you what had like. a horrible controller that I hated as a kid. The Dreamcast. I hated that controller. That as a big kid. Ass the Dreamcast thing. was awkward, and the that, memory card right, for it was, was so even more big. awkward. That big ass controller, and it had the big ass slot in the controllers. Like, all right, I had the With screen. screen. The Tamagotchi right. shit in the middle of yeah, it, or whatever right. it was. Bruh, I'm looking at it now on Google, man. That's giant. Oh, wow. right. the Sega Saturn controller is perfect for fighting games. This is what you see like standard for like fighting game uh, uh, game pads. Right. Uh, wow, that's best really controller cool. at any system. Sega Saturn, just the original one. The one. Uh, if you look up Sega Saturn controller on Google, it's the second one. Mm. Perfect shape. It fits in your hands perfectly. Perfect for pulling moves off in 2D fighters. I was that never was good at fighters, one. so that's probably why. I'm trash at them. It's cool, though. I kind of yeah. want the new Injustice game, though. Like, I don't do anything outside of button mash, honestly. Yeah, only Half fighting game I'm good at is Naruto. And even then, Jazz whoops my ass at that shit, so. Yeah, I've seen videos. It's not pretty. No. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, the slander. All right, no, it's not slander if it's true. Pop in Let's, that storm four, oh. bro. Pop in that storm four. Catch this word. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm pride, gonna perfect man. you, bro. Five times in a row. <laughs> his masculinity may be made of diamonds, but his pride, paper thin. Eggshells. I will paper seriously machine. play. I will seriously play Naruto later. <laughs> man, no bullshit. Man. You know, some no of us have jobs that we work during the daytime. Now I'm playing. Wow. No bullshit, I will. Wow. Speaking of which, man, I got I got a jet soon. I didn't realize it was this late. How um, late is it oh where yeah. you guys live at? It's uh, uh, 1042. 1042, yeah. yes. Uh, so, it's almost 12 here. Oh, wow. What? Oh, Whoa. man. Oh, I didn't even realize man. that was such a difference. Yeah, time zones are crazy. Oof. All oh. right. 
All right, what else do we have to talk about? Uh, uh, I, I think we hit all. The, we're, we're at an hour. That was a pretty seamless hour and twenty minutes. That was like it really was. I'm rather enjoyable. Surprised. You know, yeah, that was usually, some good. That was some good chatting. Usually, we have to be like, uh, "All right, what are we talking about now?" Or like during the podcast, we will say, "All right, it's been twenty minutes. We've talked about nothing." <laughs> <laughs> But yeah. yeah, I don't stop sometimes once I start talking, so uh, feel free <laughs> feel free to edit me down. No, my no, uh, the, uh, the more the me, we, we, we needed focus. Right. We always We've all been just uh, trail off. Accused of being lengthy <laughs> before. Kept Especially me. Alright, so um I I guess that's the end of this. Uh check yeah. out Luke's channel, uh YouTube.com. Uh, yeah, YouTube.com Luke James BGN. Luke James BGN. Yep. Gotcha. Um, yeah. Thanks and, for doing this with us. And his Twitter is yeah, going to be thank, in thank the you, link. Man. Yeah. Thanks for having me on, and we'll definitely do it again because I mean, this is just chilling, talking some shit. I'm down to do that. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, uh yeah. I, I don't know what to say. Oh, I, I don't know if I still have more Malik clips, but if I do, <laughs> okay. yeah, you'll hear oh, it next. Oh boy. So. Um, <laughs> Yeah, thank thanks yeah. everybody and thanks Luke for coming on. Right, thank anytime. You. Do it again for sure. Like I am the pot. <clears throat> this this is Malik Tom. Okay, I am the podcast. There is no more CP. I put a CP in Malik. Yes, that's what I said. Hmm. Did you make this? Yes. Oh, okay. I like it. I'm feeling it. This is hot. This is some dope. This is a dope beat. Rapping for Malik. Oh my God. Where is that? Is that so sleek? It's hot outside, but it's going to snow. What's wrong with the weather? I don't know. It's supposed to snow again? Yeah, tomorrow. Word? Words. It's like 69. That's my favorite time. It's not a time. <laughs> 69 o'clock. Can't rhyme. I can't rhyme. Okay. Mm. Mm. Oh, mine's so mm. That's why I don't get it. Mm. Might, no? Look at these leaves. In the winter? Okay. I'm hungry. Mama, where's my dinner? Uh. What's in the refrigerator? Nothing? Mm. We waiting on a, uh, the tax return? When is it coming? Mm. This beat is weak. Psychic like strong. Alright. I'm ready. Armstrong. Mm-hmm. Full metal alchemist. Okay. I don't got time for this. Mm-hmm. Look it, look it, look it. Look at the flick of the wrist. Flick of the wrist. Passing this test. Look at that chest. Funnel those breasts. Grabbing that ass. Mm. Real fast. Make it clap. Applause. Real snap. Girl, can you make that booty snap? <laughs> 40. What are you? <laughs> 41. 42. 43, 44, 45. 46, 47, 48, 49. 50. Start right over. Seeing these numbers. Ben right over. Do you know Ben? Ben who? Ben Dover. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm at Gabuto's getting this Japanese food. Arigato. I need some ad libs. Arigato. 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 Thanks for this food. Arigato. I need my ad libs, man. Ad libs. Ad libs. Swag libs. Woke up this morning. Arigato. Arigato. Uh huh. Yeah, come. Emergency exit only. You was a phony. Come, girl, ride on this pony. Tony, 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 Tony. Tony. I am Mojo Jojo. You was a moho ho. <laughs> I'm the biggest fofo. Ho ho. You ain't messing with my Dougie. Dougie on the beat. Can they see me, Dougie? Can they see me, Dougie, with the mic? <laughs> it's a microphone. <laughs> it's a microphone. Go home, Malik. You're drunk. <laughs> oh. Mm, mm, mm. Yo, yo, yo. I'm in Africa, chilling in Senegal. Oh my fucking goodness. <laughs> Bruh. I'm about to go in on the African beat. Bruh. Bruh. This is Malik Monroe.
That's how you pronounce it. I thought it was Malik Menra. <laughs> they get the dyslexia. This thing got pronunciation. In. Malik Menra. I am the third king of Black Egypt. This better be a bitch. Who put hard eyes on the damn city? Terrence. <laughs> she can put. <laughs> what? Oh, out of this tent. <laughs> Arigato. Arigato. Bankroll, bankroll. Last verse on the song. Let me hurry up. I don't got that long. Closer than you think. Chris Brown's baby mother next to Kareem. Oh, shit. Versace. <laughs> That's fucked up. Bankrolls, bankrolls. Got after the girl rolls. Letting these niggas like all nine trolls. Look at this bitch. It's a cartoon bitch. Shout out to Soul Eater, Black Star. Shout out to Soul. You know it's not his real name. That's his hood name. That's what we call him That's on West Side. Name. That's his street name, yeah. Soul got sh- My man Soul be eating nigga souls. Like, what? Who does this? Is that Bill Clinton? No, that's Rex Ryan, new coach of the Buffalo Bills. Well, he look like Bill Clinton. <laughs> Who would y'all pull out this tent? <laughs> Just close the app. I'm done. <laughs> Like, what niggas doing around fucking tents? <laughs> fucking tents. <laughs> bruh. Bruh, I got this hot tent for you, bruh. bruh. Yo, she ready? <laughs> bruh, I'm, I'm, let's run a train on this tent. <laughs> Who puts money in a Ziploc bag? What the? That's why you can't give black people money. <laughs> Put it in a Ziploc right. bag like it's got to stay fresh. <laughs> <laughs> About to eat it later. <laughs> money so good, I got to say that I shit. I don't want my money to spoil. <laughs> my money going to get old. Now let me let's play some of that weekend for me. Excuse me. Who that is? Oh, this is that Natasha? Yo, tell Natasha she ain't shit, and then put Malik. <laughs> no. <laughs> Malik says this. Yeah, Bro, I got this hot two chains for you. Who? That nigga flew out for a catfish. Who? Who? Uh, <gasps> There's a Phantom Pain PS4. Uh. Releasing in Asia. Nigga, I'll get a Japanese. That shit like seven hundred dollars over there. <laughs> who, who did? Who flew over for a catfish? Some other say their name. Right. Who is it? Mm-hmm. You didn't see that whole thing with the fifteen meter class. See, I don't. I don't even follow her. You the one who told me about it. Yeah, but I don't follow her. Yo. In my walls, you know how that shit goes. Yeah, this nigga. This nigga's playing defense. This nigga just fell asleep. When my world. Tennis ball shit on. I'm about to rap like Drake. Tennis ball shit on. Can't have this event. Texting my girl. Alright. That's all she wrote. Just just make sure you're still recording right now. Don't stop. Alright. I'm actually just just gonna. Can sound come out of my computer right now? Nope. It can't. Okay. I don't know why. So I'm gonna do that sync method I said before. Um, All right. Uh. Okay. So, Daryl, say a sentence. I guess. Sally sells seashells down by the seashore. All right. Uh, Jazz, say a sentence for me. I work today, and it sucked. (laughs) 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 And Luke says it is for me. Sometimes I like to take my pet weasel down to the beach and wash his hair. (laughs) (laughs) Where's the word of my voice come from? (laughs) Right? (laughs) It's just late. I've been up since like 6.30, so I'm just... I feel you, man. (laughs) I feel you. Yeah, that's all I need. Save you can, that, you save can stop that clip. Recordings. Feel free to use that clip. Oh, I got you. <laughs> oh. <laughs>